Good morning again. We decided to go to the Hinakdan Caves, which are very close to the place that we're staying at. And it's supposed, or it's said that back in the days they discovered through two of the holes. same time here, I think they have a similar interest. Exploring the places. Hello, Google. Now look, those are prices we need in Singapore. Beer, a bucket of six bottles is $2.99. That is about nine Sing dollars for six bottles of beer. I would be very fine with that. $1.50 a bottle, awesome. Well, looks like the bus didn't like it. It just took off. Expensive lesson learned. We bought tickets out of the Philippines to Hong Kong because that was what was supposed or what was given to us by Sioux Pacific in Singapore. Now they could not give us any information about rebooking, cancellation, or whatsoever because we need we knew we needed a ticket to fly into Manila just to prove that we're leaving again. Now finally after several days of contacting different people and going to the offices, we went to one of the offices here in uh, Takvilaran <laughs> and Takvilaran I'm very pissed right now it's the head noise shut up <laughs> um, well we cannot cancel it we cannot book it to a different route but we can only reschedule the date no 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 we, we can only reschedule plus we cannot buy the ticket at the same price you can only buy a more expensive ticket and that means uh, instead of the $220 which we paid for the ticket, we would have to pay $350 or $360 of Sin rebooking dollars. fee. Um, and that's just absolutely insane. Nobody at Cebu Pacific told us that. And just now the office, I think this is going to be an angry customer. Email. To protect us a little bit, uh, we have to say that back in Singapore, when we bought the ticket from the Cebu Pacific counter, we asked them about the cancellation, exchange and everything policy. At the Cebu Pacific counter, they said, uh, we don't know. How about you contact customer service online or call we them? We had to buy a ticket because there was no other choice. Well, anyhow, let's go riding. I need to get my mind free. Ah, angry. That, don't you? No? Do you like it now? Yeah, you do. Say hello. 
seen just now is the Mari Bojok uplifted ridges where there was an earthquake in 2013 and I think from right there all the way over 50 meters was the high tide marker shifted and it uplifted several parts from 10 centimeters up to 5 meters in distance, in vertical distance. So some of the places have been raised 5 meters just by an earthquake. And the whole high tide marker, I wonder if it's this one the out there. To have, no obviously it's not. Well I believe this gives quite a picture. Yep, so we're right. That is actually high tide right now, as you can see here. Those stairs, 1952 to 1955, they used to be leading into the water. And now, and this Punta Cruz watchtower was actually built against marauders. It was like kind of pirates who came here. And they said, um, stealing, robbing. I guess that's dirt. Yeah, dark dirt. dirt. <laughs> I'm super clean, super clean, just white. Here. 